Nomad Church. Gear up. This episode is titled, Hold My Wine. Let's set the stage, folks. When you hear wine, particularly red wine, I envision someone sitting in a room, dimly lit, soft music playing in the background. They're sitting in a nice, comfortable reclining chair in front of a crackling fire, and they just have the red wine in there, slowly sipping. Jesus' first documented miracle can be found in John chapter 2 when he turns the water into wine at the wedding. Not just any wine. It says the best wine. Country folk have coined the phrase, hold my beer. Usually means when something looks impossible, they're going to go try to get it done, right? I believe when we're in panic mode, Jesus is sitting back in his nice, comfortable chair and, you know, we're in utter chaos. And he says, hold my wine. Last night, I was at a meeting of like-minded conservative people. We talk about ideas and ways to help propel the country forward and enjoy the freedoms that we have without losing them daily. After the meeting, we all kind of congregate outside. A few gentlemen wait, make sure all the ladies get to their vehicles. And, and as we're standing there, it was myself and another gentleman talking to another lady. Uh, one of the women that had left previously came back. Miss Monica. She gets out of her car, calmly walks over to us. And now let me back up a second. Miss Monica is all business, very professional, very reserved, but all business. So she approaches us very calmly and says, I think I'm going to freak out. And I looked around. First thing I scanned and I said, is someone chasing you? Are you okay? She said, well, I think someone broke in my car and stole my purse. So now we, you know, the group that was still there, we start looking around. Um, there was a garbage can behind me. I looked in there. We go over to her car. Purse is nowhere to be found. It's not in the trunk, not in the sheet. It's nowhere in the car. But you can see the spot where she leaves it. And it was gone. The gentleman that had the keys to the building we meet in came back. He opened the door. We looked. Garbage, bathroom all over. Was nowhere to be found. Someone stole the purse. So as we go back outside, we're looking for the phone number to call the police. It just so happens an officer was pulling around the corner. I don't know who whistled. Someone has some pretty impressive whistle skills, whoever you were. But someone whistled. The officer pulled in. It was a lady officer. Helped Miss Monica do a report and things of that nature. So her purse was definitely stolen. We all leave. And on the way home, I'm driving and I'm just praying, talking to God and said a quick little prayer for Miss Monica and her situation. Well, this morning I get a phone call from Miss Monica. And she starts off by saying, I don't know what kind of hotline you have to the king, but he answers prayers. And I said, oh, he answers prayers, but whatever you prayed for is what you got. So talk to me. Tell me the story. This is a feel good story, folks. Let's take a quick break and I'll get right into it. Miss Monica begins to tell me the story. The next morning, a gentleman happened to be outside going to work. He owns a remodeling company, interior remodeling. His name was Juan and he has an employee named Justin. Well, Juan and Justin found Miss Monica's purse. They put everything back in it. They made contacts and reached out and found her office number and called and said they had found her purse. Miss Monica met with these two gentlemen and get, got her purse back. Of course, the money was missing. Whoever had stolen it um, did it for the money. Quick fix, probably. But she got her belongings back. And folks, for anyone that's ever, you know, misplaced a phone in the house or their car keys in their own house, you know that frantic feeling. Imagine the feeling of having your item stolen from you and you don't know where it is. So Miss Monica gets her purse back. These two gentlemen own and work for a remodeling company. 
they don't realize who they just met. Miss Monica is very well connected in the real estate industry, and she's working on some remodeling projects of her own. You see how God works. So in the midst of the turmoil of her purse being stolen, I envision Jesus just sitting back calm and we're all praying for her and Monica's praying and the Lord says, hold my wine. In other words, watch this. So this is how he puts it together, folks. Miss Monica gets her purse back and all her special belongings. The gentleman, Juan, who owns the remodeling company and his employee, Justin, just walked into a situation that only God could put together. You see, Miss Monica can give them a lot of work. Who knows, maybe Justin or Juan were praying to God for help in increasing their business and their work. And the Lord says, hold my wine. Folks, what are you praying for today? What are your needs? What are you frantic about? What are you upset about? What are you worried about? Many people are worried about this election and the outcome. Remain calm. Have peace. Father God, I pray everyone that's listening to this podcast that you give them peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace in mind, peace in heart, peace in body, peace in soul. Let their spirit be at rest because they need to know that you are the final authority. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, we need to just let God be God. Because when he says, hold my wine, miracles happen. Prayers are answered. Things that are out of our control, things we know nothing about, God is protecting us from. God is fixing. He's already intervened in many, many ways. Just let God be God. Do your part, but let God do his. If you need prayer, stay tuned. And if you want to learn more about the ministry, please visit our website, www.nomadchurch.tv. Godspeed, everybody. Repeat after me. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and forgive me for all my sins. Cover me with your precious blood and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and lead me on the road to salvation. I pray this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.